Hey y'all, Emma Rose here. And then my garden, picking beans. And I didn't pick beans yesterday, and I am seeing that I really should have. Some of these that I'm picking are too big. I can hear, look at this. That one's, that's a little short one. That one's okay. But it's still a little bit fatter than I like it. Look down here in my bucket, the ones that I've picked already. And look, some of these are just, they're just way too big. But they call these rattlesnake beans for a reason, I believe. I think they call these rattlesnake beans because you, they hide from you. And it's really easy to miss them. They're very well camouflaged. So I know they're in here. In fact, what I've been seeing sometimes is coming in here and lifting back these. So there we go, right in here. Let me see, there's some dead leaves. Right back in there, there's some beans. And I wouldn't have seen them if I hadn't lifted, lifted up these leaves like this. See, there's another big one, look at that. See that, I missed, I probably missed that one the day before yesterday when I picked, because that's a big one. And I don't like them when they get that big. The seeds inside are getting big. I mean, they still taste good, but the beans are tougher, and these are string beans. So as they get larger, the more stringy they get, and you have to really work on them harder. Harder to process them. You have to sit down and take more time with them to peel the strings off. Now, this size is better. That, that's better. Um, yeah, that's about the size that I really like. Before the, before the beans... The seeds inside have started to fill out. Still a good size, so you're not really wasting a good bean. Let's say if you get it when it's too little, then it takes more of them to have a meal. So you have to reach a happy medium in these and just get them when they are big enough to be a good bite when you eat them, but not so big that the seeds inside have matured. So continue those. See, I've got, oh my goodness, look in here on the squash. Bees are there's three bees down inside that squash. Is that a male? That's a female. That's good. You can see that? Get on there. A female squash. So we're gonna have squash there. I'm down here at the end of this row, and here's my yellow pear tomato that has yellow pears on it. That one. And there's one there. See, they're just falling off into my hand. Well, that, those would be nice for salad. He's down in here with my beans. This pepper plant, I'm hoping, is going to come back. It had gotten knocked over. I think what it is is they this broke. So I'm, not, I'm just going to. They, they're going to go in the compost. So let me throw these over the fence because my compost is right over there, and I'll get to it in a minute. It looks like that is it for picking things today. What else? What else do I have? This is the, this gorgeous plant right here. And it is doing beautifully. And this is the Cherokee Tan Pumpkin. I got the seeds, I bought the seeds from Danny and Wanda King's uh, Etsy shop. Deep South Homestead Etsy shop. And they don't always have them, but they do sometimes. Here's some holy basil and it's starting to bolt. I need to get these flowers off of it. Pick the flowers off. Try to keep it from going flowering like that. It's a beautiful plant. Very aromatic, makes a wonderful tea. Mmm, smells good. There you go, just a few flowers. Let me step through here. I don't want to step on the stems of this, of this pumpkin. So try to step very carefully through here and get these. I'm gonna throw these over the fence. And I get right in here, these little, these little, starting, starting to go to flower. I'm gonna pick those off. When you pick, when you pinch it off like that, it'll try to, it'll keep it from bolting and also make it bushier. This one in here that needs to come off. Let's 
That's pretty good. A little bit better. As long as you pinch out that tip, it's gonna keep growing more leaves and good stuff that you want for your teas. I suppose the, the seeds, the little flowers, wouldn't be bad in the tea either. But try to keep it from try to keep it from flowering. Okay, that's enough of that. The dog digging holes. That's gravel, that's not a bad place for him to dig. He can dig there. I think he really knows the difference. And then he lies down in it. Maybe it's cooler. This right here is a china berry seedling, a china berry tree. It's a weed tree, and there's a seedling for the china berry tree. Don't want that growing here. I haven't needed the sprinkler for the past few days. We've had not heavy rain, but we have had showers just about every day for the past week. And it's keeping the garden damp. And I have not needed to, I have not needed the water, which is a which is a very good thing. It's saving me on the water bill. I'm sorry to say that this tree is gonna have to go. It's a beautiful, beautiful red buckeye tree that I planted when I first moved here. But it's not going to stay little. And I want this to be my garden area. And I cannot have a big tree growing in here. So I'm sorry I'm going to have to cut this down. But, you know, it's okay. I would rather have the garden than the red buckeye tree. Jewels of Opar. This little plant right here. Now these are, that's daylilies that are coming up. It looks like grass, but it's daylilies. If you can see, let me if I can come in here and let you look at this. Right here behind me. Make a, making a shadow, this is not good. Maybe over here would be better. Okay, there. Do you see? Those are little seed pods on here. And that's not one seed. Each of those seed pods has multiple seeds in it. They're very tiny. So that's why they're they're coming up. You can see they're coming up all over here. Little the little jewels of Opar coming up all in here, and that's fine. That's a good place for them. Nice little herb. It is an herb. So this is mostly mint, and there's some day lilies and some comfrey. One, one other thing I do want to show you. I keep saying it's it. But this is my red crinum lily. That's so pretty. And if I didn't have all of these iris behind it, you, you would see more of the, of the lily. This is, this is another plant. I mentioned getting some things at plant swaps. My, my pretty quick myrtle. Uh, my, what is it? The watermelon red quick myrtle I got at a plant swap. When it was just a tiny little thing. I mean, the fir a first year seedling or a first year cutting. And this I got as a single bulb at a plant swap because crinums are, they're relatively expensive plants. And so, you know, you can have a vegetable garden, but there's no reason why you can't have flowers along with it. I can't say that the crinums are a pollinator attractant. They're just pretty, and it's okay to have them. Like this shizo, this perilla. It's an herb, but it's also a beautiful herb. Look at the back side of these leaves. They're just, it's just gorgeous. And what other thing do I have to show? It's the morning glories that I planted earlier in the year. They're growing up on this fence, and they're, they're gonna grow up on, on that post without me putting anything on that post to help them grow. They haven't flowered yet, this is the Heavenly Blue Morning Glory. Let me see if I see any buds on it yet. And no, I don't see any flower buds on it yet. But it is going to grow all the way up this top. Isn't that fabulous? It's gonna be pretty. I had hoped that it would grow on the fence. I planted several of them down in there. But they're growing all together and they're just gonna grow up this post. And this is top, I'm hoping they're gonna grow up across the top of it too. That would be nice. Oh, that would be, it would be like an arbor almost. So that's it for this July morning. 
Not a whole lot going in the garden. Just a, a little bit. I've got a, my, a little small basket. My little basket's not even full. My sweet puppy. My sweet Kai. He is such a bad dog. He is a good dog. Look at his feet. As soon as I open the back door, he is going to rush in the house. He always, he does that. He follows me, he follows me around like a puppy. See this? There he goes. He knows I'm going into the house. Going toward the house. And that's pretty much it for this morning. See y'all. Let me go inside. See you next time.